Hello and welcome back to DIY Golf Cart. Today we'll be installing a rear folding windshield on a 95 and up EasyGo TXT or metalless model cart. Now first you'll get this box delivered to your door and then we'll show you the steps on how to install this video. Our first step will be to remove the contents from the box. You want to be fragile because it is a windshield. So just pull it right out just like so. And set it against the cart. Once we removed all the contents from the box, which will include these extrusion kits and the screws and hardware that will mount through the pre-drilled holes already in your top frame, we'll then go over the tools we'll need for this install process. You can either grab a rubber mallet hammer or the palm of your hand, also a 10 millimeter socket and an, and an open end wrench. All right, the first step that we're going to have in this, in this install process will be to install the bolts supplied in the kit. So what we have here is a 10 millimeter bolt. You'll run a washer through there like that. And then you have the rubber grommet that will follow next. Now once you're at this stage, what you're going to do is you're going to locate the hole that's already pre-drilled in most of these EasyGo TXT frames. Run the bolt through like that. Grab the other supplied washer, put it on the back side, and then the 10 millimeter nut. Just hand tighten these, perform the same task to the other side. Once we've installed the bolts on either side of the EasyGo cart here, we'll grab the windshield in our extrusion kit, and if you see these bolts have rubber grommets here, so this part of the windshield will be resting right there on that rubber grommet. So what we need to do is we need to remove the protective film from the windshield. Just tear it back a little bit on both sides. And then we'll grab the extrusion kit. Now what you want to do is you see this slant here. This is what's going to adhere to the windshield itself. And then the opening that's larger will be what holds the windshield to the top supports. So what we got here is this is the back side of the windshield, which is the, which is the longer portion. So you're going to want to face this side to, to mount to the golf cart. So we locate the, uh, the lip right here and then just simply hit it on with our hand. Let me fold the windshield over. Pull the plastic back to the other side. And then do the same to this side. And then we'll be ready to install it on the cart. Alright, once we've got the extrusion kits mounted to the windshield on either side, what we're going to do next is mount the windshield to the frame. So you want to grab it like this, and you want to make sure that that lip that I pointed out is, a, is higher than the bolt. So what you do is just with your hand kind of clip it on on both sides and then just run your hand all the way down. Then once you're at that step, what you can either do is you can grab a rubber mallet hammer like we have here and knock it down on both sides. simply just use your hands. Now you want to make sure that the windshield's resting on the grommet. And then we'll tighten the either side of the cart. So we'll grab our 10 millimeter socket and our wrench and we'll tighten both sides down to securely hold the windshield in place. Now you don't want to tighten this too much. This is just to hold the windshield in place so that it doesn't hit or make contact with the front cowl of the golf cart. Alright, this concludes our install process of the windshield on a 95 and up EasyGo TXT. Once we've got everything installed, our next step will just be to remove the front. So what you do is you just pull it off of either side. And the reason we wait to do this at the last step, just so we don't scratch any points of the windshield. Alright, once we've got our windshield successfully installed on our vehicle, um, 
what we can do now is just enjoy it. So what's nice about these flip windshields is during the summer months you can flip them down and enjoy a nice cool breeze. Or during the winter you can fold it up like so, use these little clamps to hold it to securely to the top supports, and then we can block the cold winter air. Now what's also great about this windshield, it's made in the USA. Unlike a lot of other foreign ones out there, this one should hold up and last for times to come.